I'm Brian Tracy, and welcome to The Brian Tracy Show. Today, we have a remarkable person, Dr. Tina Thomas, who has discovered the biological basis or theory of personality. And her revelations and work are shaking people up everywhere. She is an accomplished author, she's a therapist, she is a nurse, she's a social worker, and she's an extremely educated and experienced person with 30 years of work in this field. So thank you very much for being here, Tina. Oh, it's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having me, Brian. Now, tell us about this biological theory of personality. Well, you know, I was trained as a Gestalt therapist. So yes. we're trained to actually go for the fire of a person's problem rather than dealing with all the psychoanalytical stuff. Right, right. So I already had quite a reputation as a professional fairy godmother. <laughs> so I'm very right. good at helping people to make their dreams come true. Yes. But I happened upon a system of personality that was so precise and predictive that I thought it must be biological in basis and so I began to research it and when we cracked the code of personality right. I actually incorporated it into my practice and the results were just game-changing it accelerated people's growth in remarkable ways well uh, Tina tell us how do you apply this biological uh, theory of, uh, of personality to your work and, and what do you do with it well you know once people understand the biological basis of their personality yes. it actually simply comes down to three chemicals in the brain right the high medium and low set points of these chemicals yes. and if you know your blueprint let's right. say it will explain things that you can't imagine. For instance, it helps to explain why I speak quickly or why you might have a hard time falling asleep or what makes you more prone to depression or anxiety, why people like you, why you take risks, you name it. And once you understand this, then the world is yours. You can achieve anything. You can improve your relationships, you can become a better parent, you can do better in business. In fact, in business, we're applying that and we're finding communication is improving, customer service is improving, people are making money in amazing ways that they didn't think were possible because they understand themselves and others better in a very deep and powerful way. Okay, so give us an example of how one of these three biochemicals, if you like, by changing or altering it, can make a difference in a person's results or behavior. Okay, here's an example. If a person has a high set point of norepinephrine, which is a brain adrenaline, right? right? right. This is gonna be the kind of person that thinks very quickly, has a hard time turning off their brain. It's almost like having a high brain engine, right? Yes. And if you run average serotonin, which is a well-being chemical through it, yes. you're going to get somebody that thinks a lot, but they're going to be emotionally neutral thinkers. They're going to think like, what makes that work? How does that happen? Well, how would an alien see that, right? And what you're going to get is a nerd. Right. 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 You take that same high brain adrenaline and you run low serotonin through it and you're going to get somebody that's a troubleshooter, that can see what can go wrong with different things. And therefore, they're going to be prone to anxiety and sometimes depression. So now, if you understand that about yourself, there are certain ways that you can exercise, foods that you can eat, music that you can listen to, even people that you will need to hang out with a little bit more that will adjust your personality. Wow. Isn't wow. that amazing? Yes, and so you test for these levels of uh, brain chemicals? Well, you know, that's a tricky part of it. And I'll yes. tell you how we actually began this thing, yes. right? So I started noticing that this system was not only precise, but that it was predictive. So that made me think there's got to be a biological basis to it. Yes. So I went to study it, and at a conference on this system, I met Dr. Eric Schultz. Now, Dr. Eric Schultz, I have to tell you, I was smitten with because he is drop-dead brilliant. Right. You know Watson and Crick, the guys who got the DNA yes. Nobel? Watson wrote his medical school recommendation. So, like, he is an amazing genius. Anyway, he suspected the same thing, so we agreed to be research partners. And, well, we ended up researching a little bit more than personality. So at our wedding, <laughs> we had a cake table and a bar and a blood drawing table. We were looking for the D4-DR gene and the 5-HTP gene and its correlation with personality. Wow. And Brian, they are still talking about that wedding. <laughs> anyway, we didn't stop there. At our Christmas party that year, we hooked people up with EEG equipment and heart rate monitors and skin monitors and subjected them to cold water pain tests to see if we could find a correlation with pain threshold and m mental processes. And uh, we got some really good results, but we needed more pain. So at our 4th of July party, we decided to repeat the experiment, but this time we added electric shocks. 
So you might imagine I'm having a hard time getting people to come to my parties now. Yes, I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister said, you guys are crazy and you need to have your heads examined. We thought, great idea. So we started getting spec scans of our brains. And when we were able to predict in advance which parts of our brain would have high and low blood circulation, we said, that's it. We have cracked the code of human personality. Wow. Now, let's jump ahead. Okay. Give me an example of one of your um, uh, patients, uh, clients, who uh, you've actually been able to help uh, okay. uh, before and after example. I had a man who came to see me and he said, you know, I'm a very negative person and I want to be positive, but I don't think you can help me. Like, okay, <laughs> that's a rough start. Right. So I started asking him some questions and I was able to figure out his chemistry and I explained it to him. So he started eating differently, he started exercising differently, and he started noticing that when he really cared about someone, he was actually more negative with them than what was good for either of them. Right. And he started learning that that's what he was wired to do, was to see the things that could go wrong. So he educated his partner in that. She began to take it less personally. And then he started seeing that he could override his thinking, that it was just a chemical thing going on. And if he could influence those chemicals, yes. he could actually manipulate his brain to create whatever it is that he wanted. And we've actually found two parts of the brain one called the limbic system where yes. you imprint old beliefs right. and it's very easy to manipulate that wow. and also I love telling people that I like to teach them how to get their RAS in gear which is the reticular activating system yes. and it's a little filter that helps you define whatever it is you want yes. if you know your personality chemistry yes. and you combine it with an understanding of those two parts of the brain yes. anything you want name it draw a line write what you want it's yours. So but you, you already know that, so don't you, you? Well, yes, I've been working in this area for many years. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, but, but not as deeply as you have. And so people can change their personalities, become more positive and optimistic, become more successful in their work, become more effective in their relationships, experience greater joy, love, happiness, and everything else by just applying what you do. Exactly. Now, I am careful about saying this, that you don't necessarily change your personality. You actually get a higher version, a healthier version of your right. personality. Because there's a lot of value in the differences that we have. Right. It's actually quite useful to be a person who can see what can go wrong. Makes you a great troubleshooter, right? right? So you have to learn how to work with that in such a way that you create the best possible life. Now, how can people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about what you can do for them? That is so easy. All they would have to do is look for me on tinathomas.com. tinathomas.com. And there they would have a link for my TEDx presentation, and right. so they could learn about the system in a little bit more depth. Wonderful. And is there a phone number if someone is really eager to call you? You can only find it on the website. All right. So you it's actually have to press that so button. So tinathomas.com. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Thank you very much, <laughs> oh, Tina. Thank, thank you. you for being here. This is great. <laughs>